All right, folks, today we're going to discuss the installation of V-Bullets and skins. At the moment, ProVV doesn't have any pre-made skins for download, although we do offer custom designing for those interested. So for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and use uh, Freestyle by John from VV Skinworks called ClearDoc. We already downloaded the skin, so we're going to go ahead and pull up the folder. Now, usually a V-Bullets and skin comes with three types of files. Those are the instruction files, the styles XML, and the styles images. So we'll go ahead and look at the instructions for a brief. It asks us to extract the files, which is what we've done right here. Just open up that zip and then upload the image folder into our forums directory. Now, a lot of times this may go one of two ways. It could actually ask you to download the file right into the images folder, which means it'd be a folder listed in the images directory, or it asks you to upload it right within your forums root itself which is what we've been asked here, which means it actually shows, sorry, hold on, let's reconnect here. Got disconnected for a second. Which means it actually show right in the root. You see how it has clear doc, not in the images folder, but directly in the root. Now for you guys, this could be either in the www, like it is for me, or in something like forum slash, or maybe forum slash, or vbulletin slash, just depending on where you have your vbulletin installed. Now, we already have the folder uploaded here for you guys, so we could go ahead and not have to wait for this process to happen. It usually takes anywhere from three to five minutes, depending on how fast your server is, to get that folder uploaded. So the next instruction is to go ahead and upload the styles XML file, which we do via the admin control panel of vBulletin. We're going to go ahead and go to styles and templates, download and upload styles. We'll upload it right from our computer. Now, usually a vbulletin style comes with two different XML files. It comes with a fixed file and a fluid file. The fixed file doesn't have flexibility in terms of the style's width. It usually comes with a set width. You can't really change it. Now, a fluid style, you could change it to your desire. You could have it at 100%, 800 pixels, 80%, whatever you wish. So we'll go ahead and go with fluid. We'll import that. All right, it's just about done. And now let's go ahead and check it out, make sure everything went smooth. And you'll see that it's up and running. The clear doc style is up. Folks, it was that simple. You can go ahead and have somebody do this for you for about 40 to $50, maybe sometimes even as cheap as 20 if you do it with uh, people themselves that designed this for you. But, I mean, this is a process that you could really do yourself if you just take a moment to learn vbullets and software. Now, there's one step that a lot of people forget to do when they upload a new style to their website, which is setting the style as your default style, meaning that when people go ahead and go to your website, they see the style automatically and it automatically comes up. So we go to styles and language settings and vbullets and options and we'll go to the default style and what we typically do in a matter like this is set it to clear doc, but we're not going to go ahead and use that style, well I'm not rather, but that's normally what you do in a case like this. So just thought I'd let you guys know that. Anyways, that's it folks. That's installing vbullets and skins for you by provv.org. Feel free to check out the website for more resources and vbulletin modifications, add-ons, and more. We're going to have a lot more video tutorials coming for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed that.